What you see and hear in the next few minutes is what actually happened. Such events do not necessarily occur everywhere. However, God is placing a desire to know Him in the hearts of men and women worldwide. I couldn't believe it. Here I was in Papua New Guinea. I joined this program called Destination Summit to help out the missionaries for several weeks by just doing some work. We met one night. We were all in the living room, and here come these two guys that come in, and they sit down. And you just haven't seen, you might have seen something in National Geographic, but it does not touch you or affect you, your emotions like anything when you're sitting there with them. They said they wished that they could talk to us personally in our language, but they knew they couldn't, so they wanted Bob and George to translate. Hello. Okay, he's saying where they're from is way back up in the hills, a place called Depalu, that is day's walk out there, out in the hills, out in the jungle. And we're just out there, and we belong to the devil, and we know it. And so we want someone to come up there to our land and come and tell us about God's word. Our women, our little children, and our old men, they can't come down here. So if someone could come up there and tell us, I think that would be good. Okay, if I could hear God's word, if I would be able to believe in God's word, boy, in my heart, I think that is really important. I think that would really be a good thing if I could do that. We were just stunned. We, we didn't know what to say. We wanted to tell him we could go so bad, but yet in our own hearts we weren't really prepared and we needed to think about it. So Bob told him that if they would come back tomorrow night, we would give them an answer. On the second night, the, the thing that hit the hardest and Man, it just made you cry. Is after we told them, we can't send somebody to you. Boy, we wish we could, but we just don't have anybody that we could send to you right now. Wadu stood up, and he a look on his face, of he was scared. As they started to leave, one of the guys turned around and said something in Basorio, and we asked um, Bob what he said, and he said that he didn't want to go to hell. He didn't want to die and go to hell. And that was something that just broke me up, because... He knows what hell is, and he knows he's going there if, he, if nobody tells him. It just tore us up. We were quiet. No one said anything. After the meeting, we just kind of went off to be by ourselves and just think about it. I don't think any of us slept for the next three nights. Every night, everybody was just up and just thinking about it, just praying about it, thinking, what can I do? Though Gil Amasi and his friends left, Three weeks later, he came for the third time. Gilamase came again for the third time, and he just said, this is my last chance I have to talk to you guys. I'm going back to the hills soon. Okay, listen, here's what he's saying. He's saying, here are the people that are out in the hills. These are not the ones from here in Malaika. Wene, 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 yamayao, wene, wene, yamayao. He says these are not the ones that live down here at this airstrip, but these are the guys that live out in the hills. He just stood there with, the, with just such a dejected look on his face. It was unreal. And so we all stood around and he pulled these sticks out of his belt, little sticks. And the way he tossed them down, he just kind of just kind of a lazy hand motion, you know, just throwing them on the ground. Each stick had a name. Asabe hmm. and his wife. Sabio and Mainagi. Sabio and Mainagi. Sabio and Sabio and Mainagi. I'm throwing down a guy named Yolomai. Each stick had a name. And he's saying that each one of these people 
are going to go to hell. We don't have a missionary come. Look at all those sticks. Look at the names here just rattling off, name after name. Oh, just the dejected look on his face just ripped you apart. And oh, man, it, just right then, I just, oh, it, the anguish in my heart, I couldn't believe it. I, I bent down and started to pick up the sticks. And, Tell him I don't. I'll take these sticks back. I didn't know why you and I'll show them to my people. People are pleading for people to come up and tell them about Christ. These represent the people that are going to hell because you don't have enough people to send out. Asabe and his wife. Fabio and Mainagi. Yolofi. Yolofi. 